Hello and welcome back to Fatal 12. On the last episode, we just survived the, I want to say, seventh uh, Divine Selection uh, week. Uh, six of us still remain and you has just been eliminated. So, I believe me and, well, I say me, Brinka and Miharu are going to explore what has been undone by Yu's actions. As, you know, so far he's had the biggest impact on the rest of the world, uh, since the game started at least. Um, so yeah, it's simple as really. There is, uh, technically I guess a 3v3 going on with the, like, the alliances, but we may as well work out. Anyway, Letha's just shown here, uh, showed up to stop us from talking, but uh, come on, read the atmosphere. Just as I'm about to give Miharu a big determined speech, a listless voice interrupts. None other than Leith, of course. Pretty usual to see it walking around in the morning. I don't understand though, the cat's always been referred to as an it, not a not a he or a she. Uh I don't know. Uh, it makes its way over to the table we are sitting at before planting once more. Why, hello. I believe it's our first meeting. Ah, uh, is it really? I've heard you talk about your cat uh, plenty, so it doesn't feel like the first time. Ah, uh, there goes all my energy. It's enough for now. You should take this chance to settle down after all that's all you've gone through. But I must say... Hmm, something up with Leith? Oh, the cat's name is Leith. Right. It sounds awfully familiar for some reason. Hmm, perhaps it just, I'm just taken by how unusual the name is. Oh, sorry, a name that is. What? I, perhaps I'm just taken by how unusual a name that is. Uh, okay. For once, I don't think that's me just being unable to read. I think that's genuinely the game. Uh, do you mind if I pet it? Imagine asking for permission. I feel like everyone would just pat the cat on instinct. Mm, I thought you weren't good with animals. Well, I just don't like them. Even so, this cat's probably been supporting you along the way. In that case, well, it hasn't. It's only just shown up every now and then. In that case, it only makes sense that I show some gratitude. Mira extends her hand towards Leith, nice and slow. You can tell she's not used to dealing with them. Come on, no need to worry. Yikes. It's not often that you get to hear Miharo shout in surprise. It has me grinning at first, but I come to regret that pretty quickly. Miharu. She falls off her chair before she can pet Leith and crashes under the floor. Are you okay? Sorry, I shouldn't have egged you on. Oh, it's not your fault. I got dizzy when reached out, uh, and I ended up falling on my face. I help her back up to, to her chair. Her body's far more slender than I had imagined. But also, it's so soft. Has she been eating properly? What in the world happened? Maybe your body, maybe your body just instinctively uh, trying to avoid animals. Come here, Leith. Let's get you some food and water. The smell of food seems to do the trick as Leith uh, meanders off to the backyard. Sorry about that. I'm fine. Getting back on topic, the gist of the things that is that we won't know how Naomi is until we see her. Right. You got up way earlier than me to check all that out, huh? I'm grateful. I'll be satisfied just knowing she's alive. Yeah, seeing you smile like that uh, satisfies me too. We should probably head to school soon, though. We can both make our way to school once I wash up the mugs that we used. I still don't know how you can wake up this early and still have like an hour before school. Oh yeah, what happened with school anyway? Hopefully fate didn't make it so that we skipped a whole week. Oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, it was closed for a week after the fire incident, so not much different from the events that we, uh, we went through. Uh, good to hear. Let's get going then. That is a good point, because obviously if school went as normal, we would have missed the classes, mentally at least. We don't even know if our bodies physically went there. 
We take in the clear blue sky while we walk around a mecca. Or um, walk towards a mecca. You ain't, uh, ain't nothing more tiring than being back at school after a week off. Not just school. Anything that you have to regularly go to. I must have spent half the time sleeping. So you just did the same thing as you always do. Gotta admit, I think they're a bit uh, over overboard. What? I think they weren't a bit overboard closing it for a whole week. I was starting to get bored out of my skull. Mao is still MVP of the story, I think. Odette close second, I think. But that might I just be might be biased. For reasons. Uh you two were toiling away when I wanted to do stuff too. Seems like the world has changed things up after all. The pivotal moment I shared with Mao has been undone. That was the first time I, I'd ever seen her cry. But now I'm the only one who knows just how strong and co uh, compassionate she can be. I'm pretty sure... The, the line has, I'm gonna complain about this. Until I die. Or until I finally actually complete this game. I was closed all week, so I can only assume I lied about uh, her, lied to her about uh, working. Guess I sh uh, could check last week's bills and stuff when I get back. Ah, crap. I need to get in touch with Gran as well. Chances are I haven't done so in a while. I can't help but smirk as I remember all uh, all of this. Well, I guess uh, now Irene's uh, had it the roughest. Oh. I make sure to give her a vague reaction. Mal follows up. She wasn't hurt or anything, but the press was all over her because she saw the whole thing happen first hand. The school took initiative to keep them away from her, but that didn't stop them from trying to track her down every now and then. She wasn't hurt. A shame the festival ended after just one day after she worked so hard for it. Can't fault that decision, but they could have postponed it instead of outright cancelling it. Yeah. I don't like it when, like, events are cancelled instead of postponed. Like, all you have to do is just push it back. Maybe a day. Maybe a week. But everyone misses out when you cancel stuff. Oh, maybe you could hire an, a, an ear in to work at the line house. Holy crap, I might be a genius. You might be. Why? I mean, she can cover the line house while we do stuff. Therefore, we get money. Grand doesn't get worried about her business. Might get worried about us, but I feel like she would trust us to be strong and independent. Uh, Mao's words are going in one ear and out the other by this point. Mao isn't part of the divine selection, so hearing her say Nami's fine has me over the moon. Rennie? Oh, sorry, I sp kind of spaced out. Whatever. Good to say I ain't the only one uh, still in holiday mode. We should probably just grab some food soon. Brinker. Her voice rings out uh, just as Mao urges me to it towards the cafeteria. A voice that hits me like a ton of bricks. Is it Naomi? Is she going to be scarred? It almost feels like I've lost all the strength in my body. It doesn't last long, however, as I find myself sprinting towards the source of the voice immediately. Oh, she looks fine. She still lost her glasses, though. Naomi. Uh, what's wrong, Rinka? Thank goodness, I I'm so good to see you. Everyone's staring, but I don't care. I go with everything I can. Fortunately, my face is buried uh, within her clothes, so nobody can see the tears welling up uh, in my eyes. Uh, this actually might be an interesting event, because think about it. Um, well, not only is this the second time Naomi's died, but Rinka, uh, who has told her about the game, would suddenly be telling you, Oh, no, yeah, no, you died. I've already saved you once. Because, like... Well... Because I'm thinking... Because at this point, now, if Naomi always helps Rinka, no matter what, she will be saved because... Let's say she visits another participant and she's killed. Eliminating that participant, uh, participant will undo the kill. Uh, even if Rinka herself was eliminated, her her asking uh, an army to help would be undone, so she would never have gotten involved, and therefore she would also become 
uh, be revived because she was never involved to get killed in the first place. And so forth. So, help having bystanders help you, in my is, is, at least to my knowledge so far, seems to be the best way to win this. If you just ask people to help, you've got this. Anyway, fortune my face is buried in her clothes. Nobody can see the tears falling up in my eyes. Uh, I think I already read that, but still. I'll let it slide just this once. No way, Mihara's not foaming out the mouth. What's wrong? Did something happen? Sorry, just... Let me stay like this for a little, a bit longer. I would at least, like, you know, I would... I don't know, I think I'd tell Mao... Because now, now me knows about it. I'd bring Mao into the folds of this story. And the four of them can go up to the roof. I'm assuming that's secluded. And the four of them can discuss what happened then. Because I feel like it's kind of a major deal that they should know about. Especially since, like, no matter what, they're losing a friend by the end of this. Oh, is this a confession? Don't be ridiculous. Ugh. Pardon my lip. Don't be ridiculous. Oh well, I can't help to uh, leave them be for now. What if I told me here it was a confession? Ha ha, what are you going to do then? I spend the next five minutes hugging you tight. Most of the time is spent waiting for my tears to recede. Those who don't understand the situation, Mao included, probably assume I've gone it off the deep end. Rumors are going to spread fast, but I don't care. Thank you for being alive. Thank you. Seeing that is going to just confuse her more, considering she doesn't remember what happened. She might remember her dreams. Even so, I have to say it. Hello? Sorry for the wait, I happen to bump into Naomi on the outside. Mihara and Na Naomi come to the line house after school. Why'd we bring Mao? She <laughs> having more more of our friends know about this would make it so much easier. After I looked into it, it turns out I'd closed the store for a week due to my uh, to my being ill. I made sure to tell my gran and that it'd be okay as usual starting. As usual, starting tomorrow. Okay. Naomi, uh, Miharo, and Na uh, Naomi saunter over to the usual table. Uh, once there, I sit down next to Ma Miharo. For the re uh, the reason for both them being over is obvious. We're going to fill in Naomi on everything. I so wanted. It. I'm shaking at the fact that we're not telling Mao because it would be so much easier. So much. Less trouble. I wasn't sure how much uh, I should tell her at first, but I think it's best if we reveal everything. It's entirely possible that things could repeat themselves if I keep certain things from her. This is about the divine selection, isn't it? There's no way I can keep this from her. Naomi seems to understand too. Yeah, how much do you remember? Well, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I don't know. Why I was. I'm staring at. Well, I remember. Well, I remember that we spent uh, some time alone talking in the park the day before the culture festival. Just the two of you, huh? Oh, she's gonna hate it. Naomi gives me here a panicked look of apology before turning her attention back to me. Even after that, I remember getting caught up in an explosion after I followed you to an empty room. Okay, so you, you do remember. I don't remember any th anything between that and waking up in the hospital, though. I was told that I collapsed from some uh, sort of form of heat stroke. That's about it. Okay, so... You remember our timeline. And... Uh, and well, yeah. So you, yeah, so you remember both timelines basically. You'll have a week to. Uh... Well, that's actually interesting. Okay, because this makes things a lot more very interesting actually. Because you get information, or to the point that you die. Maybe the death is gonna get undone. 
but then you've got like an, uh, say if you die on Monday start of the week divine selections on Sunday end of the week when things get undone you would then have what two weeks of time to interact with the other participants without them actually being conscious of of uh, what you're doing because their their memories aren't from well actually that depends because we don't know if she woke up on the same day from hospital I assume it is because obviously she has to be revived and I would assume it's a heat stroke so I'm assuming because I don't know much about it that it would be the same day you wake up after you fainted but so that's because then again, again, that's two weeks of time where other participants can't stop someone in Naomi's position. So, more reason to involve other people. As long as we ourselves are not the reason you get eliminated. Uh, sorry, not eliminated. We ourselves are not the reason you die. You could basically be immortal. The only thing is, is that it's going to get more risky late game because obviously, if the last person alive is the person that, who killed you, it's a 50 50 chance whether or not you come back to life. Well, actually, not true, obviously, because you'd come back to life on our defeat. Anyway, so. That, 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 that seems so... That rule... Or not rule. Because um, it's not rules of the game. But the logic behind that seems so broken it can be abused. Is that how... Is that how Scale's getting information, maybe? He's sending informants to die. Well, actually... Uh, but every week since we've been undoing things... Because think about it, he, his plan specifically was to wait until there was a week where there was no eliminations. Which gives him twice as much time to find information. Because he, if, if he recognized, if he's, if someone's got good enough memory, good enough art skills, you could recreate images of the other 11 people. You get, say, 11... 11 trusted associates to, or even just one, and you hand them these pieces of paper, they would have so much more time to investigate things. Especially if you, if, if they remember the first half, like all the moment, all the time before death, if they remember th your um, timeline, then they've already got the information gathered, basically. Oh, that's, that's so cheeky. I know I've stayed, uh, stayed, uh, stayed on this page too long, but this information just is very useful, in my opinion. It'll probably never be used, but... Yeah, anyway. I remember anything between that and Wicked Hospital, heat stroke, yeah. I figured I'd miraculously, uh, miraculously made it out alive, but something didn't add up. I feel like I spent my time reading books and doing and such during school's closure, and yet for some reason I don't remember doing so. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'm about to be. <laughs> maybe my entire th wall of theories is about to be torn down. I even wrote down in the book tiles I, I read uh, in my notebook, but not uh, well, titles, not titles. Uh, I don't recall what they were about. Okay, so maybe if you had in uh, made it a habit, you could um, write down notes of the of the participants subconsciously. I'm not too sure if those are actual dreams I had or just ones I felt I had. You should be aware that the meaning by uh, that by now. Yes, I died, didn't I? You must have killed me on that day. 
His actions uh, taken during the divine selection were undone after his elimination, which includes when he killed me. I see this is just a theory, but now his memories seem to have been affected more than anyone else's. You've ended up with memories of what happened both before and after the world's events changes. See? Mihiro understands. We can abuse this uh, rule. There's, uh, there's not much left for us to say based on your understanding of the situation. The last thing we want is for you to remember something painful at, le uh, at that. Or as that. Thank you, I appreciate your concern. Also, uh, I hate to ask this, but uh, it was you who eliminated you, wasn't it? I can't believe you uh, did so much for me. Don't bring up... Uh, it's okay. Hey, show my, uh, Miharu before it's okay, uh, before I continue. Yeah, I was right. You don't need to apologize for any of it. I made the decision to elect him myself. It wasn't easy, though. First, I had to cooperate with the other participants, and they had uh, they had me use a gun. Did we use a gun, or did we just, uh, you know, kind of... Did we? I don't think we did. I may be misremembering. Uh, what? How did things uh, escalate to that point? I mean, we were dealing with a terrorist. I think it's kind of already escalated at that point. Naomi stares in awe as I explain the sequences of events. How I worked together with Odette and Alan to prevent the attack on Tokyo Tower. How I witnessed yet another explosion on the train. I go on talking for a while. Long enough that we uh, have to take a break in the middle of my story. Miara yeah, probably knows the gist of the situation. This is the first time I've talked to her about it properly. Needless to say, she seems almost surprised as Naomi. Anyway, there's something I wanted to tell you both. Whatever could it be. What is it? I've accepted my desires to live. Uh, it, uh, not only have I uh, learned and what? Not only have I learned and felt a lot through uh, throughout divine selection, but I've also. Uh, I'm also carrying feelings of others with me. Uh, I don't want any of that to go to waste. You finally uh, found the resolve to do what you need then. Don't get me the uh, wrong idea. I'm not about to sacrifice you uh, for that cause. There's no meaning to my life without people like you, Naomi and Mao, uh, and my gran. Even Leaf. Sonia said that if fate can change for the worse, then it can also change for the better. I'm done uh, with being a goody two-shoes. I'm going to change fate so that it suits my needs and not the other way around. I have no idea how I'll accomplish that, but at the very least I'll, I was able to save Naomi so far. That's why I'm going to find a way to make sure both of us last through this. I'm well aware that I, need, uh, I have no leads whatsoever when it comes to how I'll accomplish this. Still. I want my intention to be clear. This is the first step to, towards realizing my desire. Sorry, but I disagree. You realize how slim the odds are of being able to accomplish such a thing, don't you? I figured you'd say that. Should such a method exist, then I... However, your plan requires two of us to be the last remaining participants. I figured you'd say that too. That's why I'll make sure to find a way before it comes to that. I feel uh, entirely out of place with this discussion. That's not true at all. I asked you to help. Um, I asked you to help me once. On the uh, once the culture festival had ended, didn't I? That was my proposal. Let's work together, the three of us. Not against the other participants, but against our own fates. I am finally able to say it. Perhaps I wanted to say this uh, ever since divine selection began. It wasn't possible before. I lacked the re uh, resolution required to do so. Uh, but things are different now. I fully accepted my desire to live. Well, then. Assuming there's, uh, there's a pull away from this, uh, you can count me in. Likewise, I've been waiting for, for this. Thank you, too. Both of them smile at me and I smile back. I'll have to take my leave here. I'm afraid work calls. That said, Miharu makes her way out.
Let's not keep uh, let's not keep things from uh, from one another, Miharu. You're not going to work. You're going to meet with scale in them, aren't you? I follow after Miharu uh, when she exits the line house. I ask Naomi to stay behind before uh, stay inside before running off, though. I want to speak with Miharu, with Miharu alone. Yes, that's right. My priority is to eliminate Odette and Alan with their help. But I'm also going to get as much as info as I can on them at the same time, so I can eliminate, eliminate them afterwards. I would say go for Odette, then Federico, then Alan, then Scale. Yeah, because you can get Alan to get Scale's information, get Scale to get Alan's information, Frederick to get Odette's information. Maybe sacrifice Frederico first, then get Odette. I feel like that's how it's going to go. Because that's to be fair, everyone here considers Odette a big threat. So if she's not going down first, she's going down second, out of the six people left. The act of betraying others is inherently evil, but it's imperative. I certainly hope that you're not going to, to charge me for it. Side for me for it? I don't know. I won't, but do you really think you'll be able to pull off? I mean, we'd also be betraying people, so... I'm able to do anything for your sake. You know, that's not what I mean. Mihara stares at me in response to my outburst. Sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. Please hear me out. I'm not against what you're planning. Quite the opposite, actually. Oh, quite the opposite, really. Uh, I don't want to let you do this all on your own anymore. I want you to let me shoulder your burden, much like what Naomi did for me. So it's about Naomi again, huh? It's not what we said. Don't, don't, don't do this. Don't make it about Naomi. We're trying to help you. Just say yes. We'll help you. You get to live. You get to spend time with us. Ah, I didn't mean to come across that way. Oh well, I appreciate your concern, but uh, I'll leave it at that. As I said earlier, your plan hinges on us being the last remaining participants. Then work with us. You won't understand unless I say it loud and clear. So listen, you focus on finding out what, uh, what to do once we reach that point. Leave the other participants to me. No. Well, yeah, no, we can just... Well, we can't actually, because we need a double elimination, do we? Because we have a time limit, I think. Did they even say what happens if we don't eliminate the others by the 12th week? They probably did, but it's been so long. You've gotten a bit too used to throwing yourself into dangerous situations, especially this last time. The fire may not have hurt you in the end, thanks to the fate doing its thing. But don't forget, that internal damage from smoke and inhalation and such could have been a possibility. I've said this plenty of times already, but you're getting far too involved with those other participants. That's why I'm glad to hear that uh, here you say you would stand up to fate itself. Don't tell me you only agreed to my plan to keep me away from the other participants. Don't you believe uh, that we can uh, beat fate at its own game? Who knows? Anyway, we need to hurry. I actually do have to, a shift today, albeit a short one. I believe what I said, that we can change fate together. And I believe in you. It just turns out that uh, my love for you trumps that belief. Uh, so you don't... So you don't believe in us then? You're quite literally saying, no, I know what's better for you because I have feelings for you, instead of, okay, you think you know what's good for us? Uh, or you, you know what's good for you? That's... This is why, this is why Mao is the best character out of this friendship group. Out of the four of them, M Mao, uh, I don't know, I guess Rinker and Nomi are tied, and then, then Miharu. I don't know what it is, but I don't know. Romance, love, all that kind of stuff, it just makes people do stupid stuff. I, yeah. I'd, I don't know, this this line has trumped me. I was much more invested in, in this episode when 
we were talking about the potential of Naomi being a rule breaking powerhouse but then there was just me here of like no I know what's good for you I love you do what I say saying that Mihiro makes her way uh, to the station there was nothing I could say to her after that don't say anything she doesn't it's not worth it if she, that's her attitude I had no comeback it's the fact that I lacked information on both the participants and how to ensure our mutual survival fair enough for A but B doesn't make sense because no one's trying for B you're the only one trying so of course no one's going to know anything you are behind obviously on knowing the information all I'm doing right now is speaking uh, of a scenario I want to see happen that's why me hero brushed me off uh, well her loss really anyway we'll call it there for now sorry for the fact that most of this was rambling or ranting hopefully I can see you on the next one with that Goodbye.